Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my November 1st grocery haul. I did my grocery shopping at Winco this time since I just did a big pantry stock up at Walmart. So I decided Winco would be a good place to go to get everything I need for November, as well as the upcoming holiday season that I'm starting to kind of set things aside for. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the produce that I picked up first. I don't do all of my produce in my big monthly grocery shopping haul. I buy the first week or so of produce or what I think will last, and then we make a uh, trips just to, to a local grocery store for, um, you know, produce and milk and things like that as we need them. So here I have a bunch of apples. I have Red Delicious and Honey Crisp and Pink Lady and Ambrosia um, just for different fall uh, recipes and things like that. I also make a uh, apple cider and I float some clove studded apples in that. I also have some caramel uh, dipping sauce here, the little individual packs for enjoying some of these apples. I also bought these here. They um, said that they were tangerines, but they look almost as big as an orange. They didn't have any individual oranges and I only needed a few. Again, I'll be floating these in slices in my hot apple cider. We usually make that a couple of times throughout the fall, so I got a few oranges for that, or tangerines. I think they'll work just the same, though. And let's see, I got some red grapes. I got a bunch of those. I always set these out with cheese and crackers and meat. It's nice to have some grapes on the side, as well as apples. Got a bunch of green onions. I have a few recipes that call for that here coming up. And then some hamburger for... Uh, our nacho night coming up. And I also found this here. I have um, purchased this the last few years for Thanksgiving, the butter that is shaped like a turkey. We think that this is really fun. I got one for now. I may end up um, picking up a second one, but for now I just wanted to make sure I got one. Also picked up some caramel sundae syrup. I use this on my coffee every day, but we also top our hot apple cider with this. So when the kids come over in the fall, they love to make hot apple cider with whipped cream and caramel. I also thought that these looked like a lot of fun, the pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls, the limited edition grand cinnamon rolls. I thought those would be fun for me and my husband to have for breakfast someday this uh, week. And then I got these macaroni and cheese bites. I got a few boxes of, of them. I thought that they would be fun appetizers for when the kids come over. Um, we haven't had these in a little while. I've never tried the Winco store brand. These look pretty good, so, um, so far we've liked all of the macaroni and cheese bites that we've tried, all the different brands, so I imagine these will be pretty good too. I also picked up some of these veggie tots with cauliflower, cheese, and bacon. I've never tried this um, variety before, but I do love veggie tots, so I thought it would be yummy to try out uh, this variety with the bacon flavor. And I got some spinach for a recipe that I'm making. And this is one of our favorite veggie mixes lately, the gold and white corn with carrots and asparagus. I got some ham. Again, this is for a recipe. I stocked up on plenty of lunch meat in my pantry stock up at Walmart, but I needed this ham, these ham slices for a recipe. And I got uh, one more pack of Swiss. Me and my husband go through Swiss the most. And this is the extra thin variety, which is my husband's favorite. And I thought this would be good uh, for cheese and cracker platters. This is a smoked Gouda with bacon. And then also these little salami and mozzarella rolls. I love these myself just for lunches and um, little cheese and cracker snacks in the evening. And then I also stocked up on some breakfast choices. I was kind of getting tired of some of the breakfasts that I've been having. And so I thought I would try out a few new things. This is one thing that isn't new. I have tried out the egg bites before, but never in the country style sausage flavor. So I just bought a single pack of those. Um, they're really good though. The uh, bacon varieties that kind of had before and I really enjoy these. Then I thought I would try out these breakfast burritos. They are the egg, sausage, cheese, and potato flavor. We've never had uh, breakfast burritos like this from a package. So I thought we would try those out. And then I really love chorizo. So I thought I would try out this breakfast bowl with uh, chorizo. And then... Got another block of spinach, again for recipes, and then some toaster scrambles with eggs and bacon, and then toaster strudels with apple. We used to get these all the time when the kids still lived here, but we haven't had them in ages, so I thought I would go ahead and get those two for a sweet uh, breakfast treat someday. And then I got two boxes of puff pastry sheets, 
Also, for a recipe, I'm going to do an appetizer with the spinach and these puff pastries. And I believe it calls for cream cheese and some other cheeses to be blended in. And then you roll it up in sort of a pinwheel. And it's like a spinach puff pinwheel uh, recipe. And it looks really good. So I thought I would try out that appetizer. And then we picked up some more of the potato crunch uh, fish fillets. I really like the potato crunch variety. It's pretty good. And then some more sour cream and some more of the squeezable sour cream. Then in the back here we have some of the canned food I needed. Picked up a couple of packs of the crispy fried onions for green bean casserole for uh, Thanksgiving, of course. Sweet potatoes there also for um, Thanksgiving. And a very tall can of the uh, refried beans. Here's the shorter one. This one is a really big can. I didn't even know they made them that size. That will be for our um, layered nacho night. Picked up some artichoke hearts, more pineapple, and we were finally able to find some of the Campbell soups that I'd been wanting, but our stores have been out of for quite some time. Split pea with ham and bacon, the vegetable beef with barley, and the bean with bacon. Those three soups are some of our favorites to have with lunches. Then I got some more tomatoes, some of the um, Italian recipe tomatoes and the fire roasted tomatoes and then some more beef tamales. Picked up a devil's food cake and a fudge brownie cake to have on hand for uh, recipes. And then four of the beef rice roni. Last time I bought chicken, but they were out of beef. In this store, I was able to find the beef. So I got four of those. And then also at the last store I was at, they were out of our favorite Idaho. And so I did get the butter and herb, but our favorite are actually the baby reds. So I also um, got a couple of these. And then some more dark brown sugar and a couple of the crescent dough sheets. I love the ones that you don't have to seal up the little perforated edges. It makes making appetizers and a pinwheel roll-up type meals very easy when you can find the crescent dough sheets. So I always pick those up when I can find them. And then over here I picked up these, the Caraway Fin Crisp. They're like a rye uh, crisp cracker. And then some more Ritz. My husband picked up a ramen. And then I thought that I would try these, the pumpkin spice latte. I believe I had these last year and I really enjoyed having these on hand. And then this is a peppermint mocha latte. And then I found this that I thought my children would especially love. They love white chocolate. And this is the new Swiss Miss uh, white chocolate hot cocoa. So I got two packs of that and then one package of just the classic with marshmallow variety. And to have on hand for my grandson, I picked up some of these peach yogurt melts. He's really been enjoying these little yogurt melts lately. And then he also likes these little crunchies, um, and I know that this is his favorite flavor. He also likes the ranch variety that we've had here as well. I like to have a few little snacks that I know he can have on hand. So I picked up his favorite, garden tomato. And then I also thought that we would try out vanilla maple. That also sounded really um, good. And then just some random snacks and things that I had on my list. Um, these are the crispy jalapenos. These aren't really a snack item. I like to sprinkle these on salad. Um, they're really good. They give a salad a real zippy flavor. Some of these are spicy, but it's just the right amount of spice that I really enjoy this. Again, I like to top uh, salads, but apparently you could put them on burgers. I have had uh, burgers uh, at restaurants that come with these that are pretty good. So it says also roasted potatoes, but I know they're really delicious on salad. I also really love Harvest Snap Pea Crisps, of course the traditional um, regular flavor that I buy in the big package from Costco, but we've also been enjoying trying out the different flavors. This one is Wasabi Ranch. We haven't tried this one yet, but my husband loves uh, wasabi peas, so he thought he would probably enjoy this Wasabi Ranch one. And the White Cheddar one is really delicious. And this is one I haven't tried yet either, the Southern Style Barbecue one. So. Um, that looks pretty good. And then also the Caesar flavor, which is really good too. Also, we decided to try the sour cream and onion smart food. And this little um, package here of caramel uh, flavored bugles, which sounded really interesting. And then this is the second store we were at. If you saw my um, Walmart haul, I pointed out that we were able to finally find the lightly salted Lay's. These are my husband's absolutely favorite uh, chip, and we've been looking for them for a very long time. They've been out at every store we've looked at, and then we found some at Walmart and stocked up, and we bought one more bag today when we also saw them at Winco. So we were really excited to see that they are restocked in a couple of stores. Makes my husband very happy, so we like to keep those in stock. 
And then I stocked up on some cereal. We don't really eat cereal for breakfast anymore. Um, just occasionally for snacks, but I did not buy these for breakfast, of course. I bought these for Chex Mix. So with the holidays coming up, I thought it would be time to stock up on Chex Mix uh, ingredients. So I got wheat Chex and corn Chex and rice Chex. And then also, again, for my grandson to have on hand, I like to have the little uh, Rice Krispies. And then I put goldfish crackers in my Chex Mix. And then I purchased some All Bran. I use these in All Bran muffins. And then I also bought a pack of Cheerios. Again, not just for eating. I saw a couple recipes on Pinterest for um, Cheerios that you kind of flavor up. So there's some that are sort of a spicy, uh, a zesty Cheerio and there's others that are sweet. So I thought I would try out those recipes and make a few um, batches of different uh, Cheerios to snack on for different family nights. So I thought that would be fun to try out. And for nacho, layered nacho night, I got a big bag of uh, scoops, Tostito scoops. And also for our uh, Chex Mix, some pretzels. And then just a few more odds and ends here. Also for the Chex Mix, some Worcestershire sauce. Picked up some of this Italian mix of crunchy veggies here. Thought that sounded good. We needed more Biscoff cookie butter. Thought I would grab another chicken broth just to have on hand. I did buy baking chips last time, but I love this brand of baking chips. They're really delicious. So I got one pack of butterscotch and one pack of semi-sweet. Again, just to kind of build up my stock for holiday baking. Then this was a really interesting find. I got two um, of these. This is a sweet potato casserole mix. And I think it is just like sort of like instant potatoes or something like that. But it says it's a blend of russet potatoes and sweet potatoes. And it comes with the topping. So that just looked really interesting to try out. So I thought I would try that out. Look like a nice fall side dish. I picked up another uh, winter spiced cranberry Sprite. Some apple cider some apple grape sparkling cider for Thanksgiving, and another apple cider here. These are what I will put in my mold apple cider that I put in the crock pot. Then I got a six pack of pineapple and orange juice in little cans. I love those. Then I also just picked up some regular orange juice, the kind with calcium in it, simply orange. I needed some more um, chicken bouillon and a beef bouillon. I've been using the kind that are just the uh, granulated bouillon instead of the little cubes. It's very easy when I'm cooking just to take to shake some of that into my recipe. So I picked up more of those. And then some Kalamata olives, some maraschino cherries, some sandwich spread, some little baby gherkins. These are really teeny tiny. I thought those would be cute on a cheese platter. Some queso. Some cranch. I love cranch. It's one of my favorite uh, little uh, things. I put it on a lot of different things. So cranch, it's great on sandwiches or to dunk fries in. And then I haven't tried this before. This is the honey racha, and it looked really delicious too. It says it's new, so we'll have to give this one a try as well. And then I got a big jar of pickled asparagus spears. Again, I think I'll set these out with some of our cheese and cracker and meat platters. Just looks like something different that we would all like to try out. Then I picked up a couple of teas. These were not from Winco. I got these on Amazon to try out, but I thought I would include them in my grocery haul here just so you could see what I'm trying out tea-wise. I thought I would try this hot cinnamon spice Harney and Sons tea. I've heard a lot of good things about this, so um, I thought that I would try this out. It looked like it'd be perfect for fall and winter. And then also a Harney and Sons black currant uh, tea. This is black currant with black tea. So really love the teas that are mostly just black tea and not a lot of herbs because I'm allergic to a lot of herbs. So it's nice to be able to find some teas that are just like fruit flavored, um, but not with a ton of different herbs and things that I might be allergic to. So I'm really excited to try out this one as well. Black currant sounds delicious, as do does the cinnamon spice. And then lastly from Winco, I got a little treat here for us to have for breakfast or tea. Um, little teeny tiny danishes with all the different fruit flavors. So that is what we got from Winco. Lots of good items kind of round out our November 
um, meal plan. So here is our meal plan for November. It's nice to be getting back to meal plans here. I have a lot of nice meals planned for this month. We will be having um, layered nachos on the first, chicken noodle soup with some egg noodles instead of orzo like we normally do with bread. Um, the next night we'll have leftover soup with sandwiches. On the fourth we'll have sweet and sour kielbasa over rice. On the fifth we'll have breakfast for dinner with pancakes, eggs, and ham. And then if we have ham left over, we'll have ham with mashed potatoes and veggies, but if not, I'll make a pork roast. On Saturday the 7th, we will have either leftovers or a freezer quick fix night. We're still doing a lot of projects leading up to Thanksgiving, so I know I needed to work in a few quick fix nights. On Sunday the 8th, we'll have shepherd's pie. On Monday the 9th, lentil soup with bread. Then on Tuesday the 10th, leftover soup with sandwiches. On Wednesday the 11th, we'll have bratwurst with mashed potatoes and veggies. On Thursday the 12th, we'll have Monte Cristo sandwiches with fries. On Friday the 13th, we'll have spinach rice casserole with sausage. On Saturday the 14th, we'll have a leftover night. On Sunday the 15th, we'll have chicken enchiladas. On Monday the 16th, baked penne pasta casserole. And then on Tuesday the 17th, we'll have leftovers or something from the freezer. On Wednesday the 18th, we'll have baked chicken, rice, and veggies. On Thursday the 19th, we'll have Italian sausages with peppers over rice. Friday the 20th, we'll have another breakfast for dinner. On Saturday the 21st, we're going to have a quick fix night. Sunday the 22nd, we'll have chicken stew with biscuits. On Monday the 23rd, we'll have hamburger patties with mac and cheese and veggies. On Tuesday the 24th, we'll have orange chicken and rice. On Wednesday the 25th, I'll be doing a lot of baking and prepping for Thanksgiving, so I just put something super quick and super easy uh, for that night. And then, of course, Thanksgiving. I'm hosting it here this year. We'll just have all the classic Thanksgiving dishes, turkey stuffing, uh, that sort of thing, all the different dishes with that. And then, of course, the next day we'll have a lot of leftovers. So we'll make leftovers either into a tuna cat or a turkey casserole. And also, we love doing a pinwheel with leftover turkey and stuffing and gravy. And then on the 28th and 29th, my grandson's first birthdays are happening. We're kind of separating it out into two different birthdays there. Um, we're having one for his friends and one for family. So we'll be working on that and kind of just focused on that with dinner. I'm not quite sure what we'll do for dinner that day, but we'll have a lot of prep work to do with those with those days. So I just kind of leave it open. And then on Monday the 30th, we will decorate for Christmas. And I thought I would try a new soup recipe that day. So I'm going to research something good and wintry and make a delicious soup, probably in my crock pot, so I can have it going while we're decorating for Christmas. So that is my November meal plan. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my meal plan and seeing everything I got from Winco this month. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.